Welcome back. Paul, politics is an exacting business. It can take a lot, of, a lot out of you uh, emotionally and I dare say physically as well. You've had a couple of health scares in the last couple of years. Uh, a, a, an incident of an alep, epileptic seizure. Sorry, I'm having trouble getting it out. How do you regulate your health as opposed to the, the requirements being placed on you by the, the breadth of the job? Well, different jobs have different stress levels sure. and stress in different ways. Uh, I actually, funnily enough, found being a solicitor in private practice in many respects even more stressful uh, than being a, a minister on this basis, that you are individually acting for an individual client, much like a doctor does surgery on an individual person. Mm. And uh, that absolute direct responsibility for that individual person, of course, is a, is a very great uh, trust that's placed in, uh, placed in you. But yes, politics is a high stress job and I can take pretty high levels of stress. I don't think you would be uh, able to be in it if you couldn't. Mm. Uh, but uh, so I, I don't believe that uh, the epilepsy issue that I had necessarily was as a result of stress. In fact, I'm positive it wasn't. Okay. Uh, but uh, about December 2008, I was shifting some barbecues with my father and one of my sons. Um, and uh, all of a sudden, um, I woke up in the back of an ambulance going into hospital in town. Oh, yeah. uh, now I've, at age, I then would have been, I think, 47 or, or so, or 48. Uh, at that age, to have your first epileptic seizure, as it turned out it was, it uh, was uh, pretty uh, pretty rare. Normally you have it in childhood and then yeah. it sometimes goes away, or but indeed earlier onset than that, or as a result of a trauma or something like that. Uh, and, uh, and then, about a year again later, I, I had another one, but in a year and a half, I now I haven't had one, and uh, I take medication morning and night, uh, and it seems to deal with the matter fine. So I uh, don't expect, uh, nor have I ever asked for any different consideration, but mm. it actually does give you a, a real feeling of your mortality and the need to, uh, I think, uh, you know, conditions... Uh, people do have and uh, look there are a lot of people out there with uh, conditions medical illnesses uh, confronting them every day that are a lot more significant than than me uh, but it does give you pause to think of other people's uh, illnesses as well slow you down at all though no it's not a lot of time to slow down is there no and uh, i uh, i think that a lot of how you are is your mental attitude and the like uh, i think actually one of the best ways of combating uh, stress is uh, having people to talk to. I think one of the greatest problems for people is loneliness. Mm. Uh, I don't have that issue. Um, I have four children and a partner and, uh, that I have a wonderful relationship with and uh, so life's any, anything but lonely. In fact, it's busy. Uh, but uh, so it's for those people who don't have someone to talk to, don't have someone to debrief, don't have someone to sit down around the dinner table to talk about their issues, I think, have, uh, amongst some of the most difficult uh, problems, and we know that relates to uh, general, Ill general illness and health in the community for people who are living by themselves. I'd imagine the, uh, the problems with the health department payroll last year might have been a particularly stressful time for I you. I think that's probably the most difficult yeah. issue in my political career because, uh, you know, we have wonderful staff working for us in Queensland Health, yeah. in excess of 80,000 people who just do a, a great job. Australia has the second longest life expectancy on earth. And that says something about the quality of our health yeah. system in this state and this country. And uh, uh, to uh, have the frustration of uh, not having their pays correct, particularly when, as a minister, I can't, it's not, first of all, it's not like selecting software off a shelf uh, at the local Dick Smith. Mm. Uh, and secondly, your ability to actually say, well, look, I want you to program this or that to do it a different way is something that is, you know, you don't have ministers designing bridges. You don't have ministers uh, also designing uh, payroll systems. Uh, and in a sense, that makes it even more, even more the frustra uh, frustrating in terms of that because we've just got really great people working for us. So, you know, we're working through that process to uh, get that payroll as accurate as possible, but it's a very, very complex system. And the good news is that uh, Queensland Health tell us uh, that the system is operating very stable. We know the Auditor General is saying that he's been very happy with what we're doing in terms of fixing it. Uh, but certainly, uh, our staff did nothing wrong to warrant having the inconvenience of their payroll being mucked up mm. for them and that's why it's just so unacceptable and so sad for them. 
hard to deal with in that respect because, like you say, there's individual cases. Everybody's having to deal with that, whether they've been overpaid or they're yeah. underpaid, and yet your responsibility involves you considering everybody. Well, if I was a, if it was a legal matter and I was your lawyer, I could easily fix it. Yeah. You know, I'm qualified to do that. I could do it on an individual basis. It is much harder, of course, as a minister, uh, no differently from a road system, saying, look, we want to build more roads. Well, you know, there are limits to what we can individually do. We can make sure that we've got the systems in place to manage that. We can, uh, you know, argue in the budget for those funds. We can uh, get out there and talk to the Commonwealth. But ultimately, uh, you don't want a world where ministers sit down and design a road or else we wouldn't have very good roads. Yeah. Mm. They're the hard things. What's the best part about being involved in politics? What do you, in, what do you look forward to every day? Uh, okay. In a couple of different areas, when you can have and get an achievement uh, uh, for a, a constituent uh, on a matter that might be a relatively modest matter in the scheme of things um, for anyone else who is external to that to look at, but for them really makes a difference. Mm. Uh, when a, a, and a lady is having a problem with, um, uh, you know, with a department where they're not being reasonable and you can sort that out for her. Uh, when uh, uh, someone is having a, a, an issue with a, w with a bill or, or, or something like that and you can help to work that out for them, you can actually make a real difference to them. When you actually get to see and be inspired in health, when you see the medical research that people are doing. I remember as health minister sitting at the... Uh, uh, Marta Children's Hospital one day watching Dr Graham Nunn who's an orthopaedic uh, uh, sorry Dr Graham Nunn who's a paediatric cardiac surgeon yep. doing surgery on a tiny heart tiny child with a little heart there and sitting there thinking that what a wonderful man this is and what he was achieving uh, and that makes the $1.88 billion in the Gateway Bridge all pale into its significance yeah. if you're the parent of that, uh, of that child and the work that he's doing. So you really get uplifted by when you see what people are doing every day of the week. And if you can sort of facilitate and support that, that's a real task. And if you can help things get built, every time, you know, as an infrastructure minister, every time I drive over the Gateway, I sort of think, oh, well, I had a bit of a role in that or those other projects... Uh, uh, boys and toys and building blocks are still a bit of fun. <laughs> I liked my Lego when I was a kid. Yeah, I bet you did. We're going to talk more about uh, some of the work that you've been doing in the community. My guest on the program today is Queensland Attorney-General Paul Lucas. You're watching Meet the Ministers and we'll be back after the break. <laughs> 